enter it. After you almost die, you really figure out what's important. I'm Robert Koch. I'm a sculptor. I'm a process-driven artist focused on results. I don't know that I've ever looked at me making art as being any different from anybody who's going to Wall Street. It's, it's my job. It's what I do. I'm not sure if it's quite all that I am or who I am, but it's a, it's a big, big part of me. When I look back on, on the people that went to college when I did and what they're doing today, I'm one of the few that has been persistent enough and ballsy enough and gutsy enough to go for it and do it. When I'm in the studio, like I just get in the zone, it doesn't matter if there's you know, a train wreck outside the door or if there's you know, a beautiful garden, so I'm just focused on what I'm doing. My tools are very minimal. You know, I need a saw, I need some grinders, some buffers, a welder, obviously. A few years ago, I started feeling dizzy and blacking out and having like all these bizarre medical symptoms. My regular doctors start thinking that it's just like anxiety. I go to a doctor that finally takes an EKG. Turns out all these anxiety attacks that I was having for the past couple years were actually heart attacks. Bypass surgery is so invasive and not good when everything you do for a living involves lifting stuff and moving stuff and being active. After not being able to work with steel for about a year, being back to it, it's the most normal I have felt. You know, like I finally feel like me again, like an artist again. When I look at steel, I see beauty and texture and the possibility to be organic and fluid. It's tactile. It's hot, it's sweaty, it's gritty, it's dirty. I'm nuts, you, get, you have to be. Everybody is, it's just, I can label it that I'm an artist. I don't take no for an answer. You, you can't take no for an answer. Fear's a wasted emotion, really. I've had an amazing life and an amazing career and it continues to get better. You can't give up. You can never accept failure. It's persistence, it's perseverance, it's thick skin. I'm gonna most likely work until the day I die because it's what I do, it's not a job. It's a passion, it's a love. It's a way of life.